The Killer is a revenge film about a man whose profession is on the edges of society. His sort of breakdown of his own rules is what's the journey of the film. There's a lot of time and energy and focus spent on perfecting the image. It's sort of infinite in the choices of what you want to highlight and what you want to push forward. And it's about sort of the excavation of all of that and how to put it best together with intention. The way that we work with Kirk on our editing team is really collaborative. Kirk will choose selects or get an edit to a certain point and then actually hand things off. Myself and David are able to kind of like get in there and edit and move quickly, or we have access to the latest sound. If we think up the music tracks that we want, they're boom, they're instantly in there. We really rely on the robust ability of Premiere Productions to further inform and refine the exact way the story is told. We can take an entire movie and break it down into multiple different scene projects that are each self-contained and each small, and our edit projects and our edit reels productions allows us to make that manageable and organizable and have projects that open in seconds. What's happening in, in Premiere, instead of me just working with the dailies and they stay that way forever, there's this constant upgrading of what we're working on. And it has a big impact in how things play. In The Killer, there are various different color palettes that are responsible for establishing different locations and regions. So there's an entirely separate color process. It's a process that, that Eric is doing in-house and he's tweaking it as we go. The fact that it's we're all in HDR means I don't have to translate it to Rec. 709. I never have to do that until the end of the show, uh, which is new. <laughs> Having the cut done in HDR is pretty interesting and wonderful, actually, because David might have me grade something just to make sure it's going to be able to be polished exactly the way he wants it, even before that cut is locked. We can use that to further inform and refine the exact way the story is told. And that means that we can move very, very quickly and very nimbly. Premiere essentially lets us change the rules of the game to match the game that we're actually playing. There's really a lot of pride that you can find in knowing that everything is working so well for your team and for your editor that all they get to do is do their job without worrying about it.